Hello again, everybody, and welcome back once again to Maximus the Fourth. What I have to present to you guys today is Verner's. This, ladies and gentlemen, is an absolute classic. Man, I've been wanting to review Verner's for so long. And for whatever reason, I haven't been able to get to it, but now is finally the time that we're going to take a very honest look at this. And I just got done doing my route of lawn maintenance, landscape maintenance, showered up and everything, and I am so ready to dig into this thing. And as it says on here, Verner's, it's actually the original ginger soda. It is both naturally and artificially flavored. I've had this before. And it has such a different, unique, and distinct taste that you actually can't even compare it to Canada Dry Ginger Ale, or any other ginger ale for that matter. It's, it's in a class of its own. So, it would literally be like trying to compare uh, a Japanese Pepsi flavor to an American Pepsi flavor. You just can't do it. They're just so different. And... So all I plan on doing today is opening this and letting you guys know what I think. But first, let's take a look at some of the history that's on this. So according to the Detroit Historical Society, James Verner was a junior clerk at Higby and Stern's Drugstore, in which he invented Verner's Ginger Ale in 1862. The drink was a combination of vanilla spices and ginger to soothe an upset stomach. Werner left the drink in an oak cask while he went off to fight in the Civil War. According to the company, Werner's was first served to the public in 1866. It is the oldest surviving ginger ale soda in the United States, and the Werner family sold the company in 1966, and it has since been owned by American Consumer Products, United Brands and A&W Beverages, and Cadbury Schweppes. Today, Verner's is owned by Dr. Not sure where that was navigating me, but <clears throat> Verner's is primarily found in the Midwest and has a cult following of Michigan Anders and Miss Midwesterners. The company still uses the method of aging the drink in oak barrels for over four years to develop the flavor. And Verner's, it's actually one of the nation's oldest soft drinks. And Verner's ginger ale was first served to the public in 1866. And as it says, it was created by Detroiter James Verner. And he was a very well-respected pharmacist with a reputation for meticulous care with his prescriptions. Just take a gander at this can. It is... The thing that is so un unique about Verner's is you can actually drink it hot and add whipped cream to it. My father-in-law has had this quite a bit, and his grandfather, which would have been my great-grandfather-in-law, which I never met, he used to drink this warm with whipped cream. So it's a very unique soda, and... It, you can, like I said, how many sodas do you know that you can drink warm? I'm telling you guys, this is a legendary soda, and if you've never tried it, you're missing out big time. Let's go ahead and dig in. I'm going to go ahead and dump a little bit of this in this little shot glass, just so you guys can see what the color looks like. Right off the bat, the way it smells, it is so unbelievably unique. Like, you could seriously compare the uniqueness to Moxie. It's a lot different than Moxie, but it is equally as unique. It's, like I said, it's in a class of its own. Werner's, it's not like something you've ever tasted before. It's, it's just not. Oh, man. So when I'm drinking that, 
I can definitely taste cream that is in this. Like, I almost get a hint of A&W cream soda. In the ginger that's in this, it doesn't taste like normal ginger ale, Canada Dry. It's way different. And it's... It, it's just so original. If you've ever tried this, you would be shocked what real ginger ale soda is actually supposed to taste like. As it says, it's both naturally and artificially flavored. And what's nice about it is that there's actually only 38 grams of sugar in this 12 ounce can. A lot of sodas that you see nowadays, they easily have like 48 grams of sugar. But let's just take a look at the ingredients here, so I'm actually pretty curious. It has carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, citric acid, sodium benzoate, which is a preservative, caramel color, that's shocking, natural and artificial flavors, and it is produced under the authority of the Dr. Pepper 7-Up Incorporations, 5301 Legacy Drive, Plano, Texas, 75024, 2018, Dr. Pepper Up, Dr. Pepper, 7 Up Incorporations. So yes, it is owned by the Dr. Pepper slash 7 Up Incorporations now. Oh. It is so different. Just unbelievably different. If you take a look at that Irish man that's up there, which you could easily get confused with him being a leprechaun, although he's not. It just simply it looks like an Irishman to me. The artwork on this can is absolutely outrageous, and I love it. It even says right here, authentic, bold taste. That's the first time I've noticed that tag, and that's exactly what it is. Authentic, bold taste. It is so good. It is literally not like any other soda I've ever seen or tasted in my entire life. And because the flavor is so good, and it's so unique, and there's absolutely nothing else out there that's like it in a class of its own, Verner's gets a perfect score of 10 out of 10. It is absolutely perfect, and you will never find anything out there that is quite like it as long as you live. Unless you're a super soda digger that can find ideas like 7-Up getting an idea originally from Bubble Up, which Bubble Up is actually owned by the Dad's Root Beer Company. Something like that. I would be very, very shocked if I ever found a soda that tasted anything like this. Even if it just tasted half of what this tasted like, <laughs> I would still be shocked. That's just how unique it is. Authentic bold taste. You can't say anything more about it. <sighs> With that said, if you've never tried Verner's, what in the Sam's Dickens are you waiting for? Get on eBay and buy some of this stuff now! And if you can't find it in your area, maybe look for it on Amazon. It's amazing. 10 out of 10. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you share this video with a buddy. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a comment down below to help boost the algorithm. Also, if you did enjoy this video and you need something else to do, make sure you check out my video, The Banana Sprite Challenge. It is a very well-known challenge that's been on YouTube all over the place. There's been quite a bit of people that have tried it. And to see my experience and how I handle it, make sure to check out that video. I will make sure to link that video down in the description of this video. And for all other extras and even ways to help support this channel, just read through the description down below very thoroughly. Maximus IV here. As always, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.